Welcome to Tech for Novice, your channel dedicated to technology-related information in simple language. This video is about installation of different editions and versions of Windows operating system on supported and unsupported PC, including on external disk despite Windows 11 is mainly mentioned. Successful installation doesn't guarantee satisfactory performance with old hardware, and returning to earlier operating system may need clean installation though Windows 11 has option to go back to Windows 10 within 10 days. Suggest to use Windows Update to upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11 if possible. October 14, 2025 is the last date for receiving Windows 10 free updates, including critical security fixes. Microsoft suggests to move to Windows 11, which is free upgrade from eligible Windows 10 editions. Microsoft says Windows 11 works smoothly only on specific processors cleared for the next era of Windows. At the moment, processors released before mid-2017 from Intel and before 2018 from AMD are incompatible. You may use PC Health Check app to check if your PC is compatible or not. Recently, Microsoft relented in response to popular demand and allowed Windows 11 installation on unsupported hardware with the warning that you are doing so at your own risk. Microsoft says stringent requirements for Windows 11 are for security rather than raw performance. However, many older devices are capable of running Windows 11 perfectly are excluded from the supported hardware. Reasons for upgrade to Windows 11 are continued access to the latest features and security improvements, better supports for new hardware and free upgrade from Windows 10. Reasons to stay with Windows 10 are happy with its performance and can't upgrade to Windows 11 due to unsupported hardware. If Windows 10 has security issues, then why Enterprise Editions are supported long after the end of Extended Security Updates program in October 2028? Is Windows 10 really unsafe? It will have security issues only if security updates are not available. Some Enterprise Editions have support until 2032. Lack of support is the problem, not Windows 10 itself. Otherwise, how enterprise editions are safe until 2032. What to do if Windows 10 can't be upgraded to Windows 11? One of the solutions is joining Microsoft Extended Security Updates program, which will cover Windows 10 update until October 2028 with some extra costs. Another option is forced installation of Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, even though Microsoft has threatened not to provide security and performance updates. Some of the older hardware may have system instability and performance issues after forced installation. Microsoft may also block updates for unsupported PC with no performance issues due to commercial motives. Registry hack and using modified installation media are two of the popular methods for forced installation on unsupported PC. Rufus is a free app which modifies the installation media for installation of Windows on unsupported hardware. It is a better option for novice. Some simple homework is required for creating modified installation media as different settings are required depending on the PC hardware and firmware and type of installation. First, we will check BIOS mode, Windows Edition, drive partition type, and default system language of the PC intended for Windows installation, especially for upgrade. Secondly, prepare a blank 8GB USB drive for creating boot drive for Windows installation. Finally, we need two downloads, Rufus app and Windows ISO file. Once we have all of this information, we can use Rufus to create modified Windows boot drive. Clean installation requires to boot the PC from boot drive. It will delete the disk selected for Windows installation. Windows setup app should be run with an existing Windows for the upgrade without losing data and apps. However, you are advised to back up important data in case something unexpected happens. Rufus also supports clean installation and upgrade on external drives such as USB HDD, SSD, and flash drives. System Information Window provides information on both BIOS mode and Windows Edition. Press Windows Plus are keys to open Windows Run dialog box and type MS Info 32 and press Enter or click OK. Alternatively, in Start Menu search box, Type system information and click system information app to open it.
In the System Information window, look for OS Name and BIOS Mode in System Summary category and note down. To check disk partition type, first use one of the methods mentioned here to open disk management window. In Start Menu search box, type Computer Management and click Computer Management app to open it. In the Computer Management window storage category, click Disk Management. You may also right-click on this PC and select Manage. Alternatively, press Windows and our keys simultaneously to open Windows Run dialog box and type disk mgmt.msc and press Enter. Or click OK. Let us see how to check disk partition type. Right-click this PC and select Manage to open Computer Management window. Click Disk Management to open it. Right-click the disk you want to check and select Properties. Open Volume tab and check the row partition style for partition type. It is GPT. Right-click. Properties. Volume tab. It is GPT. Right-click. Properties. Volume tab. It is MBR partition disk. Default system language of downloaded Windows ISO file and current Windows must match if you want to use upgrade option. To check the system language, type CMD in Start Menu search box and click Run as Administrator and Confirm. Then enter command DISM slash online slash GET hyphen INTL. Note the default system UI language displayed. Let us download Rufus app. Search for Rufus in a browser and click on link showing Rufus in website https colon slash slash Rufus dot IE. You may also enter Rufus web address into the browser address bar. Scroll down to download section and download the latest release. Standard and portable versions have no significant difference. Next, Windows 11 ISO file. Search for Windows 11 using Internet Browser. Click on Download Windows 11 link for Microsoft website. Scroll down to Download Windows 11 Disk Image ISO for x64 devices. Select Windows 11 Multi Edition ISO 4 for x64 devices and click on Download Now button below it. Select Product Language, same language as your current Windows if for upgrade. Click on Confirm. Click on 64-bit download and wait until download is complete. Please try later if error message appears. Now let's see how to create boot drive. Run the app Rufus by double-clicking. No need to install this app. Click on Yes to confirm. Select the USB flash drive you want to make Windows 11 bootable drive. Select Disk or ISO image for boot selection. Click on Select button and browse to the location of the Windows 11 ISO file and select it. For partition scheme, select the same partition type as current Windows drive for Windows upgrade. Select GPT for UEFI system and MBR for legacy BIO system for clean installation. Target system is automatically selected based on partition type. Select standard Windows installation for installation in internal drives and Windows to go for installation in external drives such as USB drives. You may rename the volume label or leave it as it is. No need to change file systems and format options. Now ready for for next step. Click on Start button. Remove requirement for minimum 4GB RAM. Secure boot and TPM version 2.0 must be selected for installation in unsupported PC. I suggest to select all of them except local account name if you have not decided yet. Clock on OK to confirm. Final reminder. All data in the selected drive will be deleted. Click on OK to continue. Please be patient as it takes several minutes to copy the ISO file nearly 6 GB large and prepare for the bootable disk. Of course, faster PC and faster drive will compete the task faster. Your boot drive is ready at this stage. Now we use boot drive for clean installation of Windows. The PC should be booted from the Windows installation drive for clean installation. You need to check documents related to your PC to find out how to change boot option to boot from USB drive. Such information is available in the internet. Plug in Windows 11 boot drive prepared with Rufus into the USB port.
Turn on or restart the PC and press the appropriate keys for boot drive selection. Select the option that boots from Windows 11 boot drive. Follow Windows 11 installation setup screens. Choose the installation language, time and currency format and select Next. Choose the keyboard and input method and select Next. For select setup option, select install Windows 11 and check I agree everything will be deleted including files, apps and settings. Then select next. For product key, select I don't have a product key. Windows activation is usually automatic for eligible free upgrade and reinstallation of the same edition. Otherwise, a product key is required for activation which can be done later. Then select next. For select image. Select the edition of Windows 11 same as edition of previous Windows or any edition you have valid license key. Then select Next. For applicable notices and license term, select Accept. Now time to select location to install Windows 11. Select each partition in the hard drive you want to install Windows 11 and click the Delete Partition button. Don't delete the partitions reserved for other purpose such as for data you want to keep. If you have more than one disk or partitions, then be careful to select the correct disk and partition. New hard drive may have no partitions yet, then whole disk is unallocated space. Deleted partitions on the same disk will be combined and will be displayed as a single unallocated space. Select the hard drive with unallocated space to install Windows 11 and select Next. Now select Install to continue with the installation. Do not turn off your PC at this stage. After the installation, Windows continues with personalization. Select country or region and keyboard layout. For network connection, Ethernet connection is set up automatically and Wi-Fi connection should be set up manually. For sign in, enter your Microsoft credentials. If you have selected remove requirements for an online Microsoft account and create a local account and provide username with username during creation of boot drive, then it is done automatically. Confirm the privacy settings that best suit your situation. Select More Options in Welcome Back, User Page, and select Setup as a new PC. On Let's Customize Your Experience page, you may skip or select the options and select Accept. For remaining settings, you may opt for Skip, Not Now, Skip for Now, No Thanks as appropriate. Now let us see how to upgrade Windows 11 to Windows 11 Keeping Personal Files and App Intact. Plug in Windows 11 boot drive prepared with Rufus and boot your PC with Windows 10. Open boot drive and double-click setup.exe to run installation app and select yes to confirm. Run through the Windows setup screens, selecting next, accept, install as appropriate. Click change what to keep if you want to decide what to keep instead of keeping all files and compatible apps. Then select Install to continue. Windows 11 will reuse Windows 10 settings in most of the cases making setup within Windows 10 easier than clean installation. Windows 10 upgrade to Windows 11 is successful, but performance of Windows installed on SSD is far better than installed on HDD as expected. Windows to Go is a version of Windows installed on an external disk which works independent of the operating systems installed on internal disk can run apps just like any other Windows installation. It is a handy tool to recover critical files and troubleshoot if the operating system fails to boot from internal disk. Windows to Go can be installed using boot drive created with Rufus, though not natively supported by current versions of Windows 10 and Windows 11. For Windows installation on external drive, Use Rufus to prepare a Windows boot drive selecting Windows to go for image option. Check your PC manual or online specifications to find out how to boot from external drive. Plug in the boot drive and a blank external drive with a capacity of at least 64 gigabytes into your PC and boot from this boot drive. Select external blank drive for Windows installation. To run Windows from external disk, Plug in the Windows to go boot drive into a PC USB port and boot the PC from this boot drive. It should work with most of the PCs. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please comment, share, thumbs up, subscribe, and press the bell icon. I hope this video will help to upgrade your old PC.